number one is out of the UK Open and she can afford to celebrate because Chris Mason has beaten Colin Lloyd here this evening by 11 legs to seven. And here he is now. Well done, Chris. You promised me you'd be up here this evening, sitting next to me, having one. You're as good as your word. Have you ever played better than you did at the stage of that match? I don't think I've ever finished better, and I don't think I've ever been uh, as consistent, so probably not. I mean, it was all right. I had a mid-match wobble, um, and that's probably due to what happened to the World Championships when I was three sets to one up on Colin and had darts to win. And uh, I just got it out of my mind a little bit, but I just tried to ke keep convincing myself, come on, you can win, you can win, you can win, and I really just fell over the line in the end. But, I mean, he's number one in the world, he's a fantastic player, and uh, I expect nothing less. Well, it's somewhere falling over the line with a, a 99 average, seven 180s, I mean, it's a fantastic performance. How tough has it been to get back to this sort of level? Incredibly tough. I've had a lot of support and I, I, I'm not going to sit in front of you and, and name names because uh, we'd be here for an hour. I know we haven't got time, but of all the people that uh, I know they've been involved in my comeback, uh, I, I say a big thank you. But it's just been a lot of hard work and uh, I've reapplied myself and I've been a little bit more disciplined. And, you know, I came last night and I didn't have a drink and I, I, I drove home and, you know, it's little things like that which is, you know, it's starting to make the difference, which I didn't think before when I was a little bit immature would make a difference. Mm. I mean, you, you know, you're still a young man. Do you feel you've still got it in you to make the breakthrough and win win one of the big ones? I thought, it's a, you know, it's a big thing saying you deserve it, but, you know, I'd like to, I think I deserve one maybe, you know. I've been around a long time and, uh, you know, I'm great value for money and, I, I can play darts, you know, a lot, you know I, I can play the game well and to a high standard and, you know, the next 12 months, hopefully, if I continue in the same vein, I can make some progress and, you know, I used to say next month I'll be world champion, now I'm saying in the next couple of years because, you know, you, as you grow older you become more realistic and, you know, you get your bum smacked a few times and you learn from it and hopefully I, I'd like to think I'm learning. Just you, many times in the past, Chris, you've been in winning positions and haven't quite managed to get over the line. Is that is that just a sign of the way you've changed? Well, no, I look at Phil Mickelson, fantastic golfer, but choked for a while. And, uh, you know, I, I, I used to choke because I wanted to win too much. You know, I, I want to be world champion. And when you want something too badly, and when you've been able to smell it, it you know, it hurts and it, and it twists you in. You don't actually play your natural game. You, you you become involved in your own mind and you know I've been, do, I've been doing a little bit of work with a few people and working on you know the, my own mentality and it, you know I'm not saying that you know I'm sorted now I'm brand young to be world champion but at least we're making progress whereas before I was it was a regular occurrence making strides going back making strides so you know it, it's all progress. Well, we all know about your trials and tribulations in the past because we won't go through all that again but but do you feel like you're a different person now? Best thing that ever happened to me, Jeff. Best thing, and you knew, I mean, you were in my life at the time, and we, we talked about it, and, uh, you know, before it happened, and uh, in a way, it's probably the best thing that happened in my life. It, it woke me up and uh, turned me into a man. Some people learn, some people don't. You know, I, I, I took the chance to take 23 hours a day to think about my life and think about people that actually did care about me rather than, you know, me caring about myself. and. You know, take the rough with the smooth, and uh, I'd like to think that it's done me some good, and I'd like to think I'd come out the other end a better person. Brilliant. Well done, mate, Chris. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, Chris Mason, top of the world number one here this evening, and while he was doing that, amidst the bedlam here at the Reeboks, and it all sorts.